Welcome back to the final video in this series on how to use the PPD certified model download. So we've picked out three models that we're actually going to use to demonstrate how you can bring them into your layout. And the first thing we're going to do to get started is go and download them. Hold on one moment. We'll be right back. All right, let's let's uh, let's head out of the gates here. There's three models that we're going to work with, and two of them are going to be from Boscoyo Studios. The first one is going to be that 36-inch uh, three-prong um, snowflake. That's this one right here. We'll go ahead and click on this, and to download, all we'll do is hit the Download button, Direct Download. We'll click OK, and it popped right up there. So next is... The we're gonna bring in the mesmerizer, which is right here, the PPD Boscoyo mesmerizer. We'll put this in our download folder by clicking download, direct download, and then OK here as well. Now, if you have a different browser, you might have to do this differently, but I'm just saving these in my download folder. Okay, and then the last one we're gonna do is the Grand Illusion from um, Gilbert Engineering. And I can tell you a lot of work went into this one. Uh, the PPD GE Grand. Here we go. These are in alphabetical order too, by the way. Uh, Grand Illusion. We'll click on that. Download. Direct download. And click OK. And we'll save it. And now all we have to do, all we have to do now is head on over and take a look at the uh, layout. Now that we've got all our models downloaded and they're in our download folder from the certified website then what we're going to do is we're going to add those in now into the layout and to do that all we're going to do is we're going to use the model import we'll click on that one time click and drag and we're going to start with the first model um, well actually before that I want to show you there's only a handful of groups up here uh, in a moment that's going to change so these are some of the PPD groups um, that exist already but I wanted to show you that there's only a small number of those groups on this list right here and as we enter or import we'll go ahead and bring that in we'll look for the three prong fancy there it is Boss Goya 36 inch plate now you're going to find that uh, there's a number of warnings we're just going to click OK through all of these and the reason for this is because when we created the groups it exports the groups along with it so this makes it easy for you to add the groups in X lights is now every with every click of the button is creating groups into your layout and making them for you so you don't have to so we're just gonna click OK and once those are created, now we can come over here and we can scroll up and you'll notice, look at all of these models that are over here. Uh, actually, the, 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 group, the model groups that are over here that are set up and ready for us to begin importing some other models as well. So we'll go ahead and start with this one. This is one that has a uh, group of arms on it. Let's see, it says uh, PPD Boscoyo Chroma Flake 36 arms. We're going to go ahead and replace this model with this model. But warning, keep in mind that this model that you are using to replace into this model need to be wired identically. If you so choose to switch these models out and these wirings do not match, and you have to watch the warning video to verify that, if they do not match, then you potentially could end up with a skewed model that isn't working correctly when you set up your layout. So keep that in mind ahead of time. So what we'll do first is we're going to select this model and we're going to look at the other one. It's called Boscoyo Chroma Flake 36 and this is 1 and this is dash 2. We're going to go ahead and right click and replace a model with a model. When we do, we're going to search for the other model that we're going to put in place of it. And that is this one here, and we're going to click OK. Should I copy and replace the start channel? So this is configuring your controllers so it knows, hey, this is the model that's going to be here now. Uh, are we putting the same start channel on here? And that's the reason we're doing this replace a model with a model so it doesn't break your controller uploads. We'll go ahead and click Yes and we'll go ahead and click OK the whole way through all of these 
and now this is the the original model but notice how it has the submodel inside of it. Now, if we go up here and we click on the snowflakes, you'll notice there's no snowflakes in a group. So let's go ahead and quickly add those snowflakes into a group. You can do that by coming over here and selecting on them, clicking on them. And then you can also scroll down through the list and find your snowflakes if you want to. I'm holding the control key again to make it easy to click on those. And as I do, you see they light up and now they're in a group. We can right click and we can add selections to an existing group. Let's go find the snowflake group. There we go, and click OK. And now when we click on these, these snowflakes, see how they all are lit up there? and the new model, that's the new one. Now, here's the other thing. Let's look at the other uh, snowflake groups that are attached to this, which is the snowflake tips. There's nothing in there because there's no groups, or the, there's no uh, submodels created for those. There's a ring group that you can, uh, with this living light show, you can extract those. And then the snowflake's arms. So the arms didn't show up. So what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to add those in, and to do that, we're going to come down to the Boscoyo arm here. We're going to click on this, right click, and add selection to existing group. We're going to scroll down to the snowflakes and click on snowflake arms and apply it to that group. So what we can also do is with our living light show, we can do the exact same thing. We can click the arrows down here. See how this has arms? I'm holding the control key down, clicking on them all, right click add selections to existing group and put them in the snowflake arms group. So now when we click on the snowflake arms, you'll see they're all lit up. Now let's go ahead and import one more time this other model, this this three-pronged flake model. We'll have to click yes to all of these again. And hopefully, hopefully because these groups now existed, they'll show up when you click on the snowflakes. So if you had snowflakes to start with, then it adds the snowflake to it. You can clearly see that here. If the snowflake groups already existed, the arms for this one have been automatically added in. So that makes it super easy to add another one. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and replace this model with this other one here. So let's go ahead and um, right click, select it, replace a model with a model, and click on the number two there. That's the second one, click OK. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And hopefully, hopefully that that uh, did all of the work for us. And if not, we can always just add it in. So there's the snowflake arms that didn't add it in. But we can quickly add that in by clicking the little arrow down, clicking on the arms, right click, and add selection to existing group, which is the snowflake arms bam there we go so now there you go you have your first model that you've imported now if you're just adding a brand new prop the next two are going to be very easy for you you'll have to go in and you'll have to configure your controllers and your outputs for these we're just bringing them in to show you that it's rather easy to bring them in and all of the groups will map perfectly into all of these groups here as well so let's go ahead and import uh, let's put uh, the Grand Illusion on the garage here. Let's go ahead and grab the Grand Illusion. Click Open. And this model contains groups. We're just going to click Yes and OK to all of these. And now that this is here, we can resize it to be more lifelike. Um, you can also come up here, and if we click on the PPD wreath groups, these a lot of these are set up with the PPD wreath groups. All you're going to have to do now is bring in, let's bring in that uh, mesmerizer and let's import it here. Let's bring it over here and drop it in and let's grab the mesmerizer and it's going to say the same thing. Let's bring all. Okay. okay. And now you have the mesmerizer ready to go up there. Now, if we look at some of the spinner groups, because uh, the spinner groups are new. Uh, you'll see that a number of the spinner groups have been added. There's the spinner rings, there's the small arms, the spinner big arms, and then you have um, the spinner group itself, which it doesn't happen to be in there, but that's no problem. We can just select it, right click, and add to existing group. Let's find Mesmerizer off the list. Uh, spinners, that's, is that the right one? 
here. Spinners. There we go. That's the one. And now we'll go ahead and click Save. Let's go ahead and show you exactly how one click of a sequence will work with the PPD layout set up with the certified model. So let's go ahead and click New. Um, we'll go ahead and click Musical Sequence. Let's go ahead and pick um, P for Pentatonics. We'll do Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh, Pentatonics Rudolph. Here we go. And we will do 20 frames per second. Quick start. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to import, import effects. And I'm going to go in and find package sequences right there. And we'll find P for Pentatonics and Pro Layout. And now we're going to click Open. Now, we're not going to map this as you would map this. We're just going to click this Auto Map button. And look what happens. Things do automatically go over. Now, there were some other models in here. There's obviously the mega tree and the mini trees, the floods. But what we're most concerned with are props such as the PPD wreath. Uh, the Grand Illusion is we're, we're not mapping at the model level. We're mapping at the group level. And so you'll see that now these snowflakes, they all have uh, those additional programming parameters in there. Um, this is an extra spinner group. Not a big deal. Here's the snowflakes group and the spinner group. And all of the interesting things from the pro layout are going to now pop right into here. And we'll click OK. Let's go ahead and render the sequence and see what happens whenever we do. So here is our house layout. Let's go ahead and pop it out here. Well, there you have it, guys. That's one more addition to the website. We hope that the, the addition of the PPD certified models is going to be something that you will find very, very helpful. Remember, if you do need to put a new um, model into your layout, just come over into here, into Xlights, before you try downloading from the download model download page. Come over to the PPD official certified models page click on the models page download page here and you will find that we've got as many models as we can set up and organized if you have a question or a comment about one of these models working correctly or having trouble with it by all means fill out the form below and send us an email and a link to the prop and let us know what issue or bug that you're finding or having with those specific models. Guys, this is Clyde here from PPD. I'm going to wrap it up and end it right here. Thank you for joining me with this video. I hope you enjoy the awesome new downloadability. Guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you and take care. 